she's seen the German Shepherd. Oh my goodness, mate, you wouldn't want that big dog jumping up you, would you? Especially on a muddy day. And if you were only a small person, it might even knock you over. It could certainly get you in trouble with the law for that sort of behaviour. So definitely not a good citizen person there, nor dog. Okay, so we might have a look at how it's done a little bit more appropriately. We've got some well-behaved dogs, I think. So a bit more control here from the spaniel. So the owner being very careful, keeping the dog on all four feet on the floor. She's using the lead and her commands to control the dog, beautifully demonstrated. And here a dog is visiting somebody in the... uh, uh, greeting somebody who's visiting the house. And again, under control and probably under a bit of training here because the dog is on the lead at the front door. So uh, very nice. Lovely. Well, very well demonstrated. So we've got three dogs coming to the top of the ring now. They're going to demonstrate the stay exercise. So we start the stay right in puppyhood in the Puppy Foundation Assessment Award where we teach the dog to adopt certain positions and we build on it to expect the dog to maintain those positions just for a few seconds initially with plenty of rewards. And then we go through the bronze where we expect them to stay for a minute with that owner five paces away and then build that up to the silver where the owner is then away for two minutes. It's a long, long time when you're waiting waiting to be told to return to your dog. The owner can choose the position that the dog is uh, left in, but the dog has to remain in that position throughout the duration of the stay. So a more practical use of 